Hello guys, welcome to CAD Academy. How are you all? So, in this tutorial, we are going to see how to enable this kind of shadows in CADIA V5. Actually, you can move them in real time. As you can see, I can move them and manipulate them in real time. So, how to do that? So, let's start. Okay, so this is assembly design interface. And now, we need to go to real time rendering. Now, here, you need to enable environment. Uh, it can be enabled from here. This is environment setting, create box environment. There are different types of environment, uh, spherical, cylindrical, and you can also import your type of that. Uh, so we will create a box environment. So this is a box environment. As you can see, a box has been created all along this uh, product. So now to manipulate this, to arrange this, what we need to do is double click on this environment. So you will get some settings here. Now uh, go to front view and just drag this till this edge. So to do that click here on height and adjust the height. That's it. Yes. So you can also increase uh, the width like this and the length like this. Okay. It depends on you and your rendering what you want to render so this is it now as you can see from the bottom view uh, we are actually we are uh, seeing this also uh, this is also visible to us so we need to hide this so to hide this uh, this is our top uh, what we say environment I don't know that so uh, right click on air and this top and just deselect it so it will hide it will be hidden now do that for the faces which you don't need so actually i don't need this face so i will just hide that i don't need this face i will hide this and i also don't need this space so i will hide this that's it now to add the textures on this wall and this wall what we have to do is just double click on this environment okay now select uh, the wall this wall so this wall is I think uh, wait a minute so this wall is north one and this wall is bottom one okay so go here and select the north one now add textures on this you have to click on this icon and go to your folder where you have placed textures so i will import this uh, this type of texture now the marble one and you can see it has been imported here you can manipulate that you can adjust the what you say height or width from here and you can position that so i will click here on uh, fit all in the wall okay now we will add textures on this bottom plane so double click on environment here and again do the same process select this bottom and select the texture which you want to import so this is my texture click here on ok and you can see this has been imported ok this texture is not looking nice so I will import uh, the default wood and one texture ok that's it so now to add shadows we have to do one thing here in the light section we need to add this spotlight remember that only spotlight can create shadow and none of these two can share, create shadow so select the spotlight now uh, go to front view and just align that according to your needs so when you click on this edge you can adjust its radius so wait a minute before that, uh, go to light, uh, uh, sorry, go to lights and then light definition. And now here, select this area, sorry, wait a minute. Yes, select this lighting and uh, on uh, select your object and on, sorry, shadow and then on object.
now you can choose the intensity of light from here also and you can change the color of light here okay and in the attenuation select realistic that's it now see this light has been created now we need to adjust that according to our product so to drag the light just select on this to increase the height of light select this go to top view and increase the height of light and move this light move this a little bit here now go to side view sorry this is the side view and just move this downwards that's it you can see the shadow have been created now if it looks that your lighting effect is uh, not that much so you can add this type of lights which don't create shadow like a uh, point light so point light with, uh, will add the light in your uh, what uh, environment but it will not create the shadows only spot lights create the shadow so this is how you can uh, create shadows in KTF 5 so if you like this tutorial please like click your, uh, click on the like button please subscribe the channel and please share this video so thank you